What's up, what's up, what's happening, and what's up, what's going on? It's Jay from Now Night Podcast. Earlier, I would say today, but it was actually a couple days ago and I just got around to making the video because I'm a lazy son of a bitch. I got curious about why Canadians, like yours really, celebrate Thanksgiving. Now, for anybody who watches internationally, I live in southern Ontario. That means to the east, to the west, and to the south of me are Americans. So I was always raised with the mythology of the people coming over to the state, settling down, seeing the indigenous tribes, and how they survived the first winter thanks to them because they then have resources. I'm not here to critique on all that because. Things have come out. But it turns out the reason Canada ha- celebrates Thanksgiving. Back in, sorry, I have notes. So back in ye olden times, before Canada was founded, uh, they used to do a huge celebration at the end of the growing season. So it's a harvest festival. And... 1879, it was officially recognized in Canada on the first Sunday in November. And in 1935, we decided to move it because it was interfering with Remembrance Day. Which, for those of you who don't know, was the day that we remember the troops that fought in World War I. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Also gives somewhat validity to us. Recognizing that day, once they celebrate, it's nowhere near as big as the States, for instance, and I'm sure other countries around the world, they seem to make a bigger deal of it than we do. We just do the humble food. We eat a lot of food. It's great. Uh, also recently, less recently, but still recently, got thinking about Labor Day. I personally had no idea why Labor Day was a thing. And most people I talked to also didn't know why Labor Day was a thing. And I felt ridiculously awkward about that. So I decided to look it up. Turns out, uh, it was first recognized in 1864 to remember the strikes that happened prior to that. It's official reason for existing is to pay homage to the Trades Union Act of 1872. Uh, Yeah. So, basically, it's celebrating the fact that we have a weekend and normal hours and minimum wage. I mean, it's pathetic and needs to adjust, But it exists because of that. And Labor Day pays homage to that. And that is pretty cool. Anyway, just thought I'd fill you in. Guaranteed I am not the only one to look up and go, why? But yeah, anyway, this is Jason Gardner of the Unnamed Podcast. I love you.